There's an early 2014 email from Hillary Clinton, so not so long after she left Secretary of State, to her campaign manager, John Podesta. Mm. Uh, that email, it states uh, that ISIL, ISIS, is uh, funded by Saudi Arabia and Qatar. Mm. The governments of Saudi Arabia and Qatar. Now, th this is a, I actually, I think this is the most significant email in the whole collection. Mm. Uh, and perhaps because Saudi and Qatari money is spread um, all over the place, inclu including into many media institutions. All serious analysts know, uh, even the US government uh, has mentioned or, or agreed with that some Saudi figures have been supporting ISIS, funding ISIS. But the dodge has always been that's uh, what well, it's just some rogue princes mm. using their cut of the oil money to mm. do whatever they like, but actually the government disapproves. But that email says that no, it is the governments of Saudi and the government uh, mm. and Qatar uh, that have been funding ISIS. The Saudis, the Qataris, the Moroccans, the Bahrainis, particularly the Saudis and the Qataris are giving all this money to the Clinton Foundation uh, while Hillary Clinton is Secretary of, of State and the State Department is approving massive arms sales, particularly to Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Un un under Hillary Clinton, uh, and our Clinton emails uh, reveal uh, a significant discussion about it, um, the largest ever arms deal in the world was made with Saudi Arabia, more than $80 billion. Mm. In, in fact, during her tenure as Secretary of State, total arms uh, exports from the United States, in, in terms of the dollar value, doubled. Doubled. And, and, of course, the consequence of that is that this notorious terrorist jihadist group called ISIL or ISIS uh, is created largely with money from the very people who are giving money to the Clinton Foundation. Yes. That's extraordinary. <laughs>